Hello my friends, today I want to talk about project initialization and usually when you're talking about project initialization you're probably also talking about singletons and as we all know singletons have their pros and cons. One of the major cons is that it creates tightly coupled architecture. So for example you might have a player prefab which will be reliant on an input manager and also an audio manager. So you can't really create a new scene, put your player straight in the scene and press play because it's going to throw a few errors. Now what people usually do to alleviate this is they will uh, create a preload scene, they'll put their singletons on that that scene and then they'll always make sure that they load the preload scene before their actual expected scene and then they've always got their dependencies up and running. This is okay in uh, a build because the build will just run you know like index zero and then it will go down and you'll always have your dependencies but in development it is a bit of a pain in the ass right. Uh, if you're really cursed you'll be going to the preload scene every time and pressing play to actually get to the preferred scene that you want to debug or whatever. A better way is to write a little script like this and it will load the preload scene for you and then load this one. But it comes with the problem of actually taking you away from your main scene. So if you've got changes that you haven't saved, it'll have to prompt you to save them and it just breaks the flow, kind of just sucks. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and I think it's the best way to do it. Uh, I'd love to know in the comments if you use something what you think is better or maybe like an adaptation of this. Uh, but what we're gonna do is create an empty, call this systems. You can call it whatever you want, main app, whatever. And as you can see here, I've got these two singletons here, uh, just audio manager and input manager. And when I'm creating persistent managers that don't ever get destroyed, I like to call them systems just to differentiate them a little bit. So on my systems, I'm going to create an empty input manager and I'll create an audio manager and I'll just chuck these scripts on there. And then I'll make a prefab of systems. So if you're using uh, addressables, you can plunk this wherever you want. Uh, but if you're not, just put it in a resources folder like that. And then I'm going to create a script here called bootstrapper or call it whatever you want, initializer or main even. Open that bad boy up. And I prepared some code earlier. So here it is, it's a simple static class and it's got one method called execute. And on that method is the runtime initialize on load method set to before scene loads. So before any scene loads, run this function. And all I'm doing is instantiating my systems object from resources and calling don't destroy and load on it. So if you're using the addressable system, I'll put the code up on for the, uh, the addressables version of this, very similar. And now with just this tiny amount of code, if we just go back to our game and I'll delete systems here, and press play, you'll see that our systems is up and running with our two singletons ready to go. So really the only object that you should ever call don't destroy on load on is this systems object or whatever you've called it. And whenever you need to add a new persistent manager, you simply just add a new child here. And the beauty of this system is you still got the, uh, you can still serialize your references here. So audio source, you know, uh, add it to here, add it to a mixer or whatever, super, super easy. And I swear the Quaternions video is coming. I know I keep saying that, but it's honestly taken ages. I'm busting my ass to finish it. Um, I thought it was gonna be finished this weekend, but it's not. And with that, goodbye. I love you. I'll see you next time. Adieu.